Welcome dear students to week two. In this week, we will continue talking about the genetic information and about the DNA and how it's replicate. Now, as we understand earlier, that DNA is the genetic information that carried from the parents to the offspring. Okay, so while transcription or the, or the translation of this genetic in, uh, information coming from the parents to your offspring, it has to go through a process. One of those processes is called DNA replication, meaning copying or making extra copy of DNA. Replicate, it's the same as um, dividing into two equal parts, where then each one of them will be having a complementary strand that will continue them and uh, continue the process of making a new copy for the DNA. In this uh, week, we will talk about the role of DNA and the DNA polymerase as an enzyme that helps the DNA to get copied and make two identical, uh, to, to separate the one DNA into two identical copies. Each one of them will have their own complementary strand and then compare the DNA replicated one in prokaryote cells and how it's different from uh, pro uh, prokaryotic cells. When we talk about DNA, we need to talk about the double helix uh, structure that consists of the sugar phosphate backbone, which is the sugar with the phosphate group, which is give them the structure of the DNA, which is a strong, um, a strong basic uh, relationship between them. The bonds between them are extremely strong, where the nitrogen bases in the middle have a weak hydrogen bond to make it easier for them to break it down into two double helix. While copying the DNA, we start by using an enzyme called DNA polymerase. DNA polymerase is an enzyme that uses a, a specific strat strategy of uh, making uh, for the direction of replication, starting from one point uh, uh, from the uh, replication fork, where it will be divided into two. Each one of them will be completed the complementary strands. One of them. Uh, in one direction, the other will go into the other direction. So they will not be replicated in the same direction. They will be completing or complementing each other, but in different direction. As you can see, the new nucleotide being do, uh, added in here. Now, in DNA replication, we have uh, two strands. We have the blue strands representing the original one what do we call the original one let's call it the parent and the other that is um, the new one which is complementary to the uh, to the parent so the blue strands are presented in here the original dna strand and the orange one is the new one the new dna strand One of the important things that we need to understand while talking about DNA is telomerase. Telomerase is the tips of the eukaryotic chromosomes, and, uh, in the, and we have an enzyme called telomerase. This telomerase enzyme added a short repeated DNA sequences to, each, um, to, tel to a telomer as a chromosomes are replicated. In prokaryote cells, as you can see here, we have also replication fork, <clears throat> and the new DNA is added. Unreplicated DNA is here. We started with it, and we end up with a new DNA. 